Cumbria's Ennardale Valley, the Hill Farm Succession Scheme, set up by the Farmer Network, with the help of local farmers like Richard Maxwell and Will Rawling, provides training for young apprentices like Martin and Connor. The scheme is funded by the Prince's Countryside Fund, which was developed to support sustainable farming and rural communities. It's mainly the stock that you're looking after instead of arable and crops. And it, if to see behind me, it's a lot steeper and harder going, but still it's beautiful. Get out there and everywhere, like you never get more money for yourself. They do work as hard, but uh, they also give the time to train us as well. Martin comes to us one day a week. We obviously spend time giving Martin as much help as we can to make sure that he does it as well as he can. But he's doing the job perfectly, so I'm getting the job done. Martin's learning. It's a win-win, isn't it, you know? Six years ago, I became a, a director of the Cumbria Farmer Network. This year, the network asked if I would be involved in being a mentor for Connor. So Connor started coming here. Looks like he's been going to develop into a useful young lad. So the scheme allows us to train young people to be able to do the work and know how to do the work, and then give them the confidence to go self-employed and work on two or three different farms. You just want to be a stockman, basically, yeah? And a good stockman would just walk in the field and pick out what shape is bad fettle and he could tell you what to run with it. He could tell you what to use to make it better than that, like, yeah? Before I did this scheme, I actually went to Newton Rigg College and did an engineering course. And when I came back, there was no jobs at all for that area of work. So I started working for my dad. And then it, it just grabbed me in. And once you're into farming, you can't really get out. All I did was send an email and they sent me a, a form through just telling them who I am, what I've done and uh, where I would like to be in the future. The young people that are on this game are very, very bright, you know, they're, they're, but they prefer the, the hands-on stuff. They, they prefer the, the, the actual being out there doing it rather than talking about how to do it. It's just the old system whereby young people started on farms and learnt their trade alongside the old farmers. It's given me the experience to look after animals and it's given me better ways around of looking after animals. With me being going around a few farms, I can look at everybody else's jobs and see better ways around of doing it and go back and tell my dad, even though he doesn't like it. In our opinion, it is by far the best way to actually deliver training. Training being delivered by practical farmers on farm really gets the message across. Without this, like, we, we wouldn't go as far as we will, like, and we wouldn't get all our tickets, and no, they definitely need the course there with these young kids coming on for the fell farming community, like. The ideal of most young farm workers is to go on and to rent a farm. Ultimately, in the future, I would like to own my own farm and just have my own stock and do everything on my own and have a little bit of England of my own to be proud of.